Hey, you guys. So I've tried to make this video now probably, I don't know, maybe four or five times, different days since she passed away. And the first video, I couldn't say anything because I just cried the whole time. And I couldn't stop crying. And so I figured, you know what, maybe I need to like give it some more time and then I'll make the video. And I tried doing it, like I said, four times and just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't get through the video. I think that enough time has gone by now that I'm like ready to talk about it. And there's a reason I'm making this video and you'll know what I mean by the end of it. And like why I decided to publicly talk about this. I did get a lot of messages from you guys asking me if I knew her, if I was friends with her and I didn't respond to anybody because I wasn't ready to talk about it. I was still like grieving. I still can't believe that she's gone. We were best friends. We met doing porn, obviously she was a porn star. She was the coolest chick I probably had ever met and we had so much fun together. But a lot of things happened within our friendship and leading up to her passing are things that are really hard for me to deal with in my personal life and also talk about, but I think that it's so important to talk about stuff like this because I just want you guys to learn from my mistakes and I feel like if I tell my stories of things that have happened in my life, maybe you guys won't make the same mistakes I have. And something happened with Jess and I that I never got to resolve before she died. And I'm gonna have to live with that for the rest of my life. And I'll get into that later on in the video. But first, let me just tell you kind of how Jess and I met. I remember meeting her on set and we just became friends instantly and then became best friends after that. We did everything together. We worked together. She came on family trips with me and we spent almost every day together. I loved her. She was my best friend. We did crazy things together. We did scary things together. We laughed. We cried. We went through a lot together. And something happened that kind of made us stop talking for a long period of time and i'm gonna get into that in the end of the video but i first want to talk about her passing this happened about two months ago and i remember getting a text from a mutual friend just saying like hey did you hear what happened with jess and i said no i haven't talked to her in a really long time you know what's going on i got the text back and i remember reading it and i was in just complete disbelief and shock because that person had texted me back, she's dead. And I didn't want to believe it, and I didn't. I was just like in total denial. I didn't write back because I didn't believe it. <laughs> um, and then I got another text from someone else saying, hey, did you hear what happened with Jess? And I didn't even respond to that text. And then all of a sudden, I had seen it on TMZ, people.com, just like the news and media outlets were just blasting it all over. Porn star Jessica James dead at 40. My heart was broken and I just felt so sad. I immediately texted her husband. He wrote back and, you know, it was just like, it's a really sad day. I still to this day, like, can't even believe that she's gone. I almost feel like she's not dead, that she's still around. We just still don't talk. I don't know why I think that. I think it's like my way of protecting myself. The last time I ever talked to her, we were fighting. I never got to say I'm sorry or like resolve our friendship. I just figured we're just not gonna talk for a long time and then, you know, we'll, we'll make up eventually in the future and everything will be fine. It was over like the dumbest thing too. Best friends fight all the time. When you're really close to someone, they're like a sister to you, like you're gonna fight with them. And you have fights and you make up and sometimes you go a while without talking. And we had gone a while without talking and I always thought we would eventually make up. And now I can't cause she's dead. And part of me feels so guilty because I feel like if I was still her friend, she would still be alive. And that there was something I could have done to save her. And at the same time, I know Jess and I know how she was and she wouldn't listen to anyone and she was always gonna do her own thing and she was crazy and she drank a lot and you know she took pills but she wasn't a bad person she was a really good person she had a really good heart she was so cool and she didn't deserve to die so young and I just miss her and I wish I could call her and tell her I'm sorry and hug her but I'll never be able to do that and I just feel really shitty about it and really sad in my heart and so I guess the reason why I wanted to make this video was to let you guys know if you're 
fighting with any of your friends or your family no matter how upset you are at them or how much you think it's their fault and they're the ones that should be apologizing to you i hope that this video encourages you to call those people and make up with them because you just never know what could happen i never in a million years thought jessica would die so young and i don't want anyone else to have to go through what i'm going through right now and what i'm gonna have to live with for the rest of my life which is no closure and feeling really shitty that i never got to make up and tell her i'm sorry for whatever i did that hurt her even though i feel like it was her fault and she should have been apologizing to me it was just a really shitty situation and it's a really sad situation there's a lot that i'm leaving out of all of this just because i feel like it's not like appropriate for the internet and i might talk about it on my patreon just because there's a lot less people on there and i feel like i need to like get it out and vent about stuff i was invited to her funeral and i didn't end up going i don't really feel comfortable talking about that on YouTube. There's a lot of other things that I want to say that maybe I don't want to say publicly but her husband had a hard time getting a hold of her and they had a very like unique relationship her and her husband. Uh, I don't know exact details of all of that but I do know that her husband found her in her house kneeled down up against her couch in her floral robe that she always wore. She was just unresponsive. She ultimately, I believe, died of chronic alcohol abuse and ended up having seizures. And I believe she died from a seizure that was caused by chronic alcohol abuse and they found pill bottles all over. And supposedly, I don't know this to be a fact, I just have heard that she had tried to commit suicide months before she ended up passing and in the autopsy report it stated that she had cuts all down her wrists and her arms and bruises all over her body and it just kills me to know that somebody like her was just taken away from this earth way too soon i just wish that we were talking and that i could have done something i know that she's in heaven and i hope that she's not in any more pain emotionally and that she's happy and you know at peace i've been talking to her husband and keeping in touch with him and she didn't really have much of a family i think she just had like her mom that as far as i know she didn't really even talk to i hope people remember her as like a badass chick who was like a legend in porn and just a super cool person and she'll be really missed i already miss her a lot but I'll have a lot of good memories to keep of her. But I really just wanted to make this video to not just let you guys know what's going on in my life, but also to hopefully encourage you to mend any friendships or relationships that you have with people that you really do care about. You know the difference between friends that are just not good for you and you guys are not friends anymore for a reason. That's totally different from fighting with someone that's your friend and like a sister and you know you guys are gonna like make up. You know, there's a difference and you feel it in your heart. So if you have anybody that, you know, is your friend like a sister and you guys are fighting, do everything you can to try to make up with them. Because like I said, you just never know what could happen. Doesn't matter how old or how young they are. You know, no one thought Jessica would die so young and how she died. It was just so mysterious. The autopsy report took two months for them to figure out how she ended up dying because it was so odd and she was so young. <sighs> Anyway, I love you guys. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy, and I hope to see you in my next video. Jess, if you're watching this in heaven, I just want to let you know that I'm so sorry, and I love you, and I hope that you're happy and in peace. One day, I hope to meet you in heaven and we can be besties again. I love you. I'm so sorry you were taken so soon. Getting talking smell. What? No. This. You look hot in your pajamas. I would fuck you stupid. Okay, what did you order from Taco Bell? I ordered two chicken soft taco supremes, three regular soft taco supremes, two bean burritos, no onions plus sour cream, there's seven layer burrito. No big deal. <laughs> no, that's, well, that's not it. it. You ordered like extra hot sauce. And this too, yes. Actually, that was the first time. Looks like, I want a bunch of fucking sauce and everything else. That looks like my apartment when I was like 21. This is Jess and I at my house when I was going through nursing school. She was, came over and was helping me study.